Securitization has revolutionized the banking industry, and that's because banks historically were almost entirely reliant on deposits to raise funds. But now they can securitize mortgages, they can securitize car loans, credit card receivables, and this provides an alternative source of funding other than deposits for banks to raise capital. So what is securitization? Securitization is the process of bundling illiquid financial assets and creating securities that are then backed by the cash flows from that pool of assets. So you can bundle mortgages, you can bundle credit card receivables, equipment loans, and so forth. Okay, When you bundle mortgages, it's called a mortgage-backed security because the cash flows for that security come from this pool of mortgages. So you could have thousands of mortgages in that mortgage-backed security. Okay? And then investors, they invest in that mortgage-backed security and the cash flows that they're ultimately receiving come from those mortgages. Now, the bank that originated the mortgages, they will typically come in and service the mortgages. So they get a fee for servicing the mortgages because the investors who come in and buy uh, the mortgage-backed securities, they're not going out and knocking on the borrower's door and saying, hey, you know, your mortgage is due. I need that money. Okay, so the bank basically unloads these mortgages, puts them in a pool, unloads them to investors, and then the bank continues to service the mortgages, and then the investors get the cash flows from those mortgages. Okay, Now, asset-backed securities, and so a mortgage-backed security is a type of asset-backed security. Okay, Other types of asset-backed securities, credit card uh, receivables, car loans, student loans, equipment loans, so any kind of, of loan could be basically packaged, put into a pool, and then you've got an asset-backed security. Okay, So, those are the different types of securitization. Now, how do you value these mortgage-backed securities, these asset-backed securities? Well, that's that's the tricky part. Okay, cash flows are uncertain for a number of reasons. So you've got interest rate risk, prepayment risk, which is heavily tied uh, to interest rates. For example, if interest rates come down, if the refinancing rate goes down, then people are going to refinance their mortgages. So they're going to prepay and, and so forth. So that's so that's a risk. And then you've got the risk of default. Right? You've got credit risk. These people might not pay. And we saw that in the financial crisis where a lot of these mortgage-backed securities were subprime loans, right? subprime mortgages, and the people ended up, to, there was a really high rate of default, and basically a lot of these mortgage-backed securities were virtually worthless. Now, how do banks try and value asset-backed securities? They use Monte Carlo simulation uh, to try and simulate, okay, what would be, you know, what what kind of interest rate uh, environment do we expect? What kind of prepayment rate would we expect if this happens, if that happens? Okay, so that's how they try and value uh, mortgage-backed securities and asset-backed securities. So it is by no means an exact science, okay? They're using simulation to try and value these assets. Now, what are the advantages of securitization for the bank? Why is securitization so popular? Why do banks uh, engage in this? Well, first off, you're taking illiquid assets, which there's risk associated with, and we just talked about there could be default, for example, and you're getting them off the bank's balance sheet. Okay, It's reducing regulatory capital requirements for banks. Banks have a lot of requirements. They're heavily regulated in terms of what kind of capital they need on hand. Okay, So it's easing some of the restrictions there. And as I said, most importantly, is raising cash for the bank. This is an alternative source of funding. The bank is basically saying, look, I can go and originate mortgages. So I go and make loans, okay, and then I don't have to worry about whether you know there's going to be a default or things like that. I can sell these mortgages or credit card receivables, whatever. Okay, I can get them off the balance sheet and raise cash. And now that I have that cash and I have increased liquidity, what can I do? I can go and make more loans. Okay, so that's the advantage of securitization for a bank. You don't have to sit around and wait for depositors to come and give you money. You can just unload the mortgages or, or credit card receivables, car loans right now, take the cash, and then now you can go out and make even more loans. Now, why would investors like mortgage-backed securities or asset-backed securities? Well, when we're talking about mortgage-backed securities in particular, for example, they are basically getting to invest in mortgages in the, in the housing market, but they don't have to go and originate or service the mortgages.